Keep on rolling, baby. Let's do this, guys. You ready for death match? Ready, 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 ready. The following contest is a death match scheduled for one fall, and it is Vixen's Rules. Watch the bodies. everyone who dude where's my ring we are your guides to the gore this evening i'm your host rafe houston i'm joined as always by mean dean fucking olsen how are you today my man i am very good my friend it is may the 21st at badlands bar in perth western australia dude where's my ring keep on rolling this is how we're starting things off. Of course, there is a big story behind this matchup as these two are headbutting the hell out of each other. Of course, it is a death match to kick off the season. This show was meant to be very different. Of course, James Hartness was meant to be in the main event having a shot at the death match down under world championship. But Vixen, unfortunately, her flight got cancelled and she was unable to make her flight over here to Perth. So, fuck Jetstar. Literally, fuck Jetstar. They've fucked up James Hartness's entire life, really. Not only does he not get a title match, he's not got a qualifying match to dream. Everything's fucked. And to make matters worse, Vixen has chosen her replacement and it's none other than Michelle Hasluck. 
Well, that is right. Of course, uh, Vixen got to choose the opponent of James Harden since she couldn't make it over herself. And she chose her very close friend, Michelle K. Hazard. And like she just said at the start of the matchup, she was in last year's Dream Tournament, just rubbing salt into the wound that Hartness isn't going to be a part of this. Mate, it's not ideal circumstances for him. And, you know, he was looking to make a big fucking imprint today. So not only is he at a disadvantage by not knowing his opponent, now he's about to get a fucking metal scour to the face or some oh shit. Oh, God. I think oh, it's a gusset play. It's plate. actually a gusset play. It's way worse than that. It is much worse. I think I'd rather the scour, and that's oh. saying something. But we get a huge night ahead with all sorts of craziness in store, as only Dude Where's My Ring can deliver. Uh, massive main event, barbed wire, everything. We've got the golden keg for Rafe to ring the bell. And uh, we got all sorts of good stuff happening, mate. I'm excited. We've got the new metal soldiers as well, blasting some awesome new metal music, which you know wrestling fans love. Dude, it was fucking baggers to get some. Oh, oh my god! Is Eric Ryan in the building because terracotta pots are already being introduced? Fuck, mate, put yourself in James Hardness' shoes here. All the false starts he's had in Deathmatch and the fucking world just keeps taking away his opportunities, man. It seems to be the ongoing saga of his career. Like you said, it's not only a bunch of like non-starts and sort of, oh my, holy hell. Skewers. Oh, it's oh, the arm. arm. No. Oh my goodness. Michelle K has, like, she's no stranger to this sort of uh, carnage. But James Hardis, like we said, all this has done is just put a bigger fire underneath him that was already just out of control. Absolutely, man. Like, it, like so many false starts. And it's got to really start to wonder, like, where on him, though, because he's in this position now where everything was about to come true and all he had to do was win that one match. And now he's back to fucking square one again. It's like the old cliche of one step forward, two steps back. But nonetheless, Hartness needs to keep looking forward. Is this this oh, is... No. no. It's Lego Masters Badlands no. Edition. This is the word. <laughs> Dude, where's my instructions? <laughs> oh. <laughs> James Hartness has fought so hard and so long. Oh, oh, right Jesus. in the eye! That was a Lego man as well. Oh, was uh, he wearing a helmet? We can only hope for the safety of the Lego man. Um, but like we said, Hartness has wanted deathmatch wrestling for so long. Oh, oh no! Straight through oh, the border, not Lego. Not even Brickman can put James Hartness back together again. Oh. It is insanity, as you can imagine. Like we said, Hartness, he just keeps getting let down as he's trying to build this momentum and build this legacy that he wants so badly. You just got to think that it's not only making him more determined, but just even more crazier. The guy was rabid when he came out here tonight. He's losing it, man. He is losing it. But he needs to get his head back in the game. Oh, Michelle he's... just wiped his blood out of her face. <laughs> oh, my God. This is where... She fucking thrives, man. She sure She's does. She's a stone-cold psychopath, and this is very fun. Oh, oh, my oh. God. Why? Oh, that is rough. Oh, no. Oh, no, now she's just playing with it. Oh. Okay, Hasla. She really is. I know... I know that, like, technically, she's maybe lost the title of the Queen of Perth, but you got to say she's... Oh, oh my God. She's definitely still an apex predator around this type. The kind of female that feeds on her, like, plays with her food here. This is completely fucked. But James, James, he's turning it around here. What has he got? Oh, it's that very same gusset that I failed to identify the first time. This can't be good. What a way to start the show with a death match, of course, like we said card subject to change you never know what you're going to see or what's going to happen with these shows they're as oh. unpredictable as can be as we knew the uh, last time we oh we're here at badlands mate this is a fucking chair massacre here like we said all the uh all the stops and starts in the career of hartness you just know are just making him all but more determined what to unleash hell, hell. here what is this that? glass? Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, no. Glass on the board. Oh, fuck. He's, he's eating it. That's... I mean, we're at a bar. Well, I mean, there's perfectly good snacks behind the bar. There's drinks. I, I don't mean, think you want to have that. Is he about to go through a second? You need to get better at this. I, I was, I was oh. going to say something about getting the glasses. Blade oh. Runner! Oh. the fucking glass pit. That's got to be it. Oh, oh no, only 
right. two. The Thought referee has told us it is only two. It. So close. So crazy. My Harness man. is bleeding. He's spitting blood. Answer me this, who's more disappointed, James Hartness or the kid who had this Lego this morning? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> Hopefully they're not oh putting together God. their Millennium oh Falcon God. halfway through it. Oh, oh he's oh no. Oh, oh God. Jesus, what a spill. Oh, he's got the broken shard. I don't know if it's a life, but oh. Burke from Burke's backyard's rolling in his fucking grave at the treatment of this terracotta oh. pot. Oh my god. Someone's oh, been busy at Bunnings today. It's <laughs> where oh, lowest prices are just the beginning, and James Hartness finds all sorts of crazy oh, shit no, to throw at his opponents. I'm not sure they're paying the photographers enough for this. They sure are in the splash zone. Oh, oh, just leaning that, oh, that chair across the throat. James needs to focus here. He needs to put this away. He needs to get a win on the board. He needs to stop fucking punishing for Michelle Look, for I, Vixen's absence. I honestly don't think this match is about a win or a loss. This is about James Hartness just exercising the demons of his frustration in not having the match that he was planning so long for. His big chance to not only get deathmatch gold, but also... Now he's trying to fight the crowd. I, I did a warning at the start of the night that, that fans and attendants should not attack the wrestlers. I think it should go both ways. Wrestlers should not attack the fans either. Mm, that goes both ways. It definitely does. Oh. What are we looking here? We're looking concerto. Oh Whatever it is, it's not looking good for Michelle. No, this is not it. Oh, oh my god. Covers this made. This is it. Ring the keg, mate. Oh, what? Wow, how the hell did you kick out of that? Peeking behind the curtain, Michelle started this like, I don't want her to be dead. No, no, not at all. I mean, one thing, it means we don't get paid. Another thing is that wait, we lose, wait, we wait, lose wait, a near wait, and dear wait, friend. Wait, you're getting paid? Sorry to break it to you, brother. <laughs> what oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, It's King Shahil's birthday and it says buy King Shahil a drink. Wise advice. If you can hear this after the fact, buy him a drink anyway. That's the, man, the man likes to drink. Oh, oh, Lego God. in the cans. Lego in the cans. This is just a, a smorgasbord of brutality here in the Badlands fight pit. This is what I'm given. A world title match. And I'm not this fucking film. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, she's brought him up. That's it. Oh no, James! And here is your winner, Michelle K. You had it, mate. You had it. James Hartner stacking up loss. Oh my God, he snapped. Oh, whoa, whoa. He has snapped. Somebody get him now. Somebody get him. Michelle got the win. She's out of here. Smart. You do not want to be around James Hartness right now. Oh my god. Just another opportunity up in smoke with James Hartness. Back to the drawing board for James Hartness.